Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a full kitchen tour. And I'm going to take you guys from top to bottom and show you inside all of my cabinets, what all I have, how I store things. I did not clean beforehand as far as like organizing and making everything perfect and pretty for you. So it's gonna be sort of a real version of what our kitchen cabinets look like. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is an overview of the kitchen. We have a great big island in the middle. We have our kitchen table. We do have our high chair for my 13 month old. We also have a little kids table. This leads out to our back deck. And then we've got our stove over here, oven, microwave, warmer, refrigerator. This is our pantry. I know it's not a traditional pantry that you would walk into, but we don't have that in this house. So we just have these tall cabinets, which I will show you how we have those organized. And then this over here, this is kind of where I'll start. Um, that is out to the garage. And then down this way we have my nursery. So I'm going to start with this area right off the kitchen. And this is what my husband and I call the nook. And this is kind of our catch all spot. And over here, we just have this little like organizer, charging station, some decor. Then we have that for like important documents. So we pretty much just always drop off our stuff right over here. Mail and everything goes over there. And then we have all of these drawers and cabinets, which you guys, don't worry, it's not clean. This is like my junk drawer. So yes, who thinks I should do an organizing video of this little station? So this is just a basically a catch-all junk drawer here. This middle one, a little bit more organized, but same kind of thing, another kind of catch-all spot. And then this one, we keep more like tools and stuff. So we've got, you know, that's what's going on in here. It's very unorganized. You can tell at one point, a long time ago it used to be, because we do have organizers in here, it just gets, cluttered so those are the three drawers we have up top and then these bottom two are honestly not any better this is like a hodgepodge of random stuff <laughs> and then this bottom one does have a rhyme and rhythm so those are like electronic boxes <laughs> I just feel like you never want to throw stuff like that out um, and then this bag really random but I do keep stuff that we're gonna be taking to Goodwill in like a trash bag and I just keep it in this drawer I don't know why, it's just always been like that. And then once it fills up, I just bring it out to the garage and stick it in my trunk. And then these two cabinets on either side are actually really practical. These are our reusable bags. So this one over here is all like totes and reusable bags. And then on the other side would be all of our insulated stuff. So for groceries or trips or anything where we wanna keep stuff cold, we have all of our cold bags on this side. And it's also really nice keeping these right off the kitchen because when I'm bringing in groceries, I can just tuck them back in here. Okay, so then you kind of start with these big tall cabinets. This one right here is where we keep all of our vitamins and supplements. So we've got like a bunch of supplements here, vitamins and supplements up here, and then this top shelf is cookbooks. And then down here is our medicine cabinet, which is why there is a lock on it, so let me unlock it. So here's where we keep all of our medicines cough drops, band-aids, random odds and ends. <laughs> and then moving along, this is like I said, our pantry basically. So I kind of like having it in a cabinet because I'm used to it. We've lived here for almost a decade now, so I'm really used to it, um, but it's nice. These bottom drawers pull out. So we've got 
kind of like breakfast bars down here. This is all like teas and supplements and things. And then up here is mainly all snack items, cereals, more snacks, and then behind the cereals is like overflow of snacks. <laughs> you can tell that I have a toddler. And then the top one is just a big box of crackers. We've got some lollipops in there, and then that's where we keep our spare paper towels. So it's not super glamorous. I do try to keep it clean and tidy with the different bins and stuff, but as you can tell, it still gets cluttered. And then this next one is more of our baking and cooking supplies. So down here, again, we've got the drawer that slides out, kind of more like condiments and stuff and canned foods, pastas, more pastas and random cooking items. And then here's a bunch of cooking oils, baking supplies, and then the top, which actually looks pretty decent, is all of my like powders and baking supplies. And I do love these cabinets because as you can tell, they're really high and they're very deep. So if you had a lot of stuff to store, you could store a ton of food in these. And then below the cabinets are these big drawers. So this one, a little bit disorganized, but it has a rhyme and rhythm to it for me, so it works. We keep all of our reusable cups over here, and then we've got our paper products, parchment paper, Ziploc bags, stuff like that, and then these are the things that I use to pack my son's lunch, so I keep those in here as well. We've also got some plastic cups. This could definitely use a little organizing, but it works. Okay, and then the bottom drawer is all of our uh, food storage containers. Again, it could definitely use some organizing. Like I said, you guys, this is exactly how it is. So I did not clean anything beforehand. This is how it looks, um, but it makes sense and it works for us. And I love how big and deep these drawers are for stuff like that. And then this top one is our more common baking and cooking supplies. So I've got my pans and stuff like that. And then these mixing bowls. So this is pretty much what I use every night to cook. And then underneath, this was really practical for a long time, but now definitely needs to be switched out because this is all of our bottle pumping, stuff like that for when I was breastfeeding, which this was the perfect storage spot because it was really easy for me to get to and I was pumping like two to three times a day so I could easily access all of this stuff. But my son doesn't need any of it anymore, <laughs> so we kind of need to take that out, but that's what it is still for now. Okay, and then moving along over here, we have this really cute sign. My mom got this for us when we had crew, and I love it. And then this is our refrigerator. It's nothing special. You guys wanna see a peek? There's our freezer. We actually don't keep a whole lot of groceries at all times. I feel like it's pretty sparse. It's also the end of the week, so we need to go grocery shopping. Um, but we do have some cabinets up here. Like I said, we have tons of storage in this kitchen, which is so nice. So in this top cabinet, I keep a lot of serving dishes, platters, bowls, things that I rarely ever even use are all up here. And then the same goes for this one. This is again, serving dishes, bowls, some baking, items, stuff like that up there. Right underneath we have our microwave, our oven, and then this little warming drawer, which is awesome. Um, it's a little dirty right now, but we actually love this because living far away from things, we will actually bring our food home early, stick it in the warming drawer, and then eat it a couple hours later, and it stays nice and fresh. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over to our kitchen island which we have two bar stools. I really do want to upgrade these someday, not anytime soon, but these were just really inexpensive ones that I found at TJ Maxx probably about five years ago, but they are kind of farmhouse style, so they work well in here, and I love adding pops of white where I can because as you can tell, our kitchen is very dark. The next thing I would love to change in here too are our light fixtures. Um, they're not bad, they just are very traditional looking and I would love to have some more like farmhouse style light fixtures in here, um, but this is what they look like for now. And then this is our big kitchen island which is really nice, a really great space for cooking and chopping. And we do have a sink here which is great when I'm chopping and cooking and washing things. Um, there is a garbage disposal too in this sink. And then right here is our trash can. You don't really wanna see that. Underneath the sink, this is another spot that kinda needs to be 
updated because it is actually like uh, cleaning supplies for bottles and stuff. So we just have that underneath there still. And then this one that is locked is gonna be our cleaning supplies. So I keep all of our cleaning supplies in here. I actually recently got this little turning thing from Amazon and it's really nice because it keeps it all organized a little bit better. But nothing fancy. Um, duster, this fills up the mop and there's our extra trash bags. And in this drawer right here is all of our silverware. So we've got our silverware, reusable straws. I just bought some onion goggles. I can't wait to try them out. And just different kitchen gadgets that we use all the time. We also have some chip clips back there. Then turning around is our stove. We have a gas stove. And then we have, is this just called like a pot filler? <laughs> but it just has running water. So it's great if you are um, boiling water for pasta or something. I just use that to fill it up. And it's really nice. We do have to get this filled up with propane though a few times a year, which is kind of a pain when it runs out, but it's pretty nice. I, I like using this stove a lot. Um, over here, I just have a little bit of decor. We do have light fixtures too built in underneath the cabinets. And then this tall cabinet right here is dedicated to our kids. So this is all of their stuff. Um, that top shelf is just old formula that we never used. Um, we've got all of their sippy cups and stuff on the second shelf there, vitamins, bibs, silverware, plates, bowls, and placemats. And then I also keep this little chart on um, dosing for Tylenol and ibuprofen. Then we have these two cabinets that actually pull out right here. This one is pretty empty right now, but um, this is where I was storing all of our baby snacks, so puffs and yogurt melts and jars of baby food, but it's pretty empty right now because my son is 13 months old and he pretty much just eats table food now, but this is a great little spot for when he was a baby and we had it filled with baby food. And then this next one we use for spices and I do label all the spices on top just to make it easy. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what's what without pulling each one out. Um, but here's how it looks from the side. We've got some random ones that didn't fit on the top and the bottom is actually still empty. Then these two big drawers, we keep all of our pots and pans in. This bottom one has just some larger pans and then a rolling pin and our big cutting board. And moving along over here, we've got another cabinet, this one. We have measuring cups, little fruit containers, um, a big pot for boiling water, and then our strainers. And again, it's not even that full. We have a lot of a lot of storage in this kitchen. This is my KitchenAid that my husband got me for my birthday. Gosh, probably like five years ago or so, but I love it. And then this we got for Christmas this year. This is the Crooks brand. Um, I get a lot of questions on this. This is our air fryer and we use it, gosh, almost every single day. We use it for everything. So it's a really great investment if you've been thinking about getting one and then our paper towels. And then over here we've got a drawer of washcloths and what are these, <laughs> oven mitts. And then we also have like um, user manuals and cookbooks and stuff like underneath. Definitely could use a little sprucing up in there. This cabinet down here holds our crock pot and then some more baking tins. Okay, so this is our main kitchen sink area over here. Um, this little drawer has like sponge and nothing really. This one has dish soap down there. Um, this one we keep locked. So in here we've got all of our dish pods, white vinegar. Um, I've got my seasonal hand soaps back there and a drying rack. And then this red rug, which is just from Walmart. I really want to get a new one for the holidays, but this one does fine for right now. And then we have the same situation over here. This drawer is actually broken, so I'm not gonna open that one, but this little cabinet, we literally just have a random dish soap in there, so we don't really use that. Um, over here, we've got soap, and then I have this cute little red caddy and all of our like quick cleaning supplies, so it's really nice to keep this out so that I can just quickly grab it to spray down the countertops and the high chair, and then we also have our dish soap in here and then this little brush. Over here, we just have a little basket with our hand towel, we have our Alexa over here. 
And then we also have a fruit basket and our knives. So moving up here, you can see we've got these big clear glass cabinets. We also have a little sign up there that says eat. It's kind of hard to see it. Um, but I did see recently on a video on YouTube where they actually did like a white shiplap sticker behind their cabinets. And I think that that could be an interesting DIY and maybe kind of open up and brighten up our cabinets because like I said, everything is really dark in our kitchen, but we do have all of these white dishes. Most of our dishes are from home goods. So those are all of the ones that we use pretty much every day. And then over here we have all glass dishes, which we don't really use much over here at all. And then underneath this part is our dishwashers. We have like a double dishwasher, which is really nice. Um, I do like having the two of them because when one is full, the other one can be empty. So it's really nice and convenient. This is our overstock of kitchen utensils. And then right there is just my Vitamix. And then over here, this drawer is actually pretty useless. These are essential oils that I used to have a diffuser over here, but I don't use it anymore, so this drawer is useless. This second drawer is our food processor and also um, this like panini maker. And then the bottom drawer is just our toaster. And actually, that wraps up everything as far as the cabinets and drawers in the kitchen. So I'm going to finish it off with just this little section over here. So we have our kitchen table, which another thing I would love to upgrade eventually. Um, this would be later down the road because right now this table is actually really, really practical for toddlers because all I do is spray it and wipe it down. Same with the chairs, they're really easy to wipe clean. Um, but eventually I would love something like maybe with a bench, something wooden, um, definitely something different. But this one works for now and I just have it decorated for fall. I also have that sign that I got from Hobby Lobby about a year ago. And then we have our high chair over here. This is from Ikea, super affordable, and I love it because it, there's no nonsense. You literally just spray it all down and wipe it clean. And then over here we have the little kid's corner, which I like to decorate this for whatever season is going on. Um, the kids don't really sit here that much unless they're crafting, but typically for meals, they sit over here, um, but I do like this little spot. It's also a great charging section for the iPad and the Leap Pad, and then they also have some little crafts in that bu bucket. Really think that's everything. Um, I do have these really pretty pictures over here that my mom gave to us like as soon as we moved in. Literally, we were moving boxes, and she just started hanging those there, and I was like, that's kind of perfect, and we've never moved them since. But yeah, that is everything. I would love to know what you guys think as far as storage and organization tips, if you saw anything that you really liked. And I especially wanna know any of your tips on maybe some DIY renovations because I do feel like this kitchen has a lot of potential. Um, I definitely think it is gorgeous and I love it, but I would love for it to be a little bit brighter and a little bit more up to date if you know what i mean so definitely leave any recommendations down below as long as they are inexpensive maybe some diys that i could do here on my channel and share with you guys well, that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see me do another room like this in our house like maybe our master bathroom let me know down below if you like this kind of video and i will see you in my next one bye guys